This stray cat was looking for a new home but ended up at a haunted house full of unknown beings. With nowhere else to go, the cat decides to accept its fate. This cute little cat only wants to have a loving owner but life gets really hard on him. Despite his good behavior, the owner throws him on the road and drives away. The poor cat wanders on the streets looking for a new home. She meets a little dog who feels really sorry for the cat and asks him to get used to living on the streets. The cat looks around and finds a huge mansion. He gets really fascinated and sneaks inside. It will be great if he can get a place here. Unfortunately, the guard dog notices the cat and starts running after him. The cat gets out of the mansion but the dog still wants to catch him. The cat runs through the woods and ends up near a creepy house. The dog gets scared all of a sudden and runs back home. The cat continues walking towards the creepy house and tries to open the door. It seems to be locked from inside but there's an open window at the top. The cat climbs up a tree and jumps inside the window. The house is full of circus equipment, illusion tools and thousands of toys. The cat keeps slipping around until he finds a little mouse named Maggie. He greets her really politely and explains that he is just looking for a place to live. But Maggie gets scared and runs away. The cat follows her to the ground floor where he meets an old rabbit named Jack. Maggie tells the rabbit that the cat is trying to eat her, which makes him really angry. Jack kicks out the cat and warns him to never dare to return. It suddenly starts raining heavily so the cat takes shelter in the house basement. He hears the conversation between Jack and Maggie, which reveals that their owner really loves cats. Hearing this, the cat climbs upstairs and watches the owner from afar. It's a kind old man named Mr. Lawrence who used to be a famous magician. He has brought life to a bunch of random toys which he considers his family. Mr. Lawrence loves recalling the good times of the 19th century when he performed magic on stages in Asia and Europe and became worldwide famous. Suddenly someone knocks at the door so Mr. Lawrence asks all of the toys to hide away. A little bulb robot named Edison does not make it in time, but luckily the cat helps it to hide. The visitor is no other than Mr. Lawrence's cunning nephew, Daniel. Mr. Lawrence welcomes him with a magic trick and asks if he wants to have any tea or cookies. Daniel isn't interested in any of that. He only came to ask his uncle why he hasn't paid his utility bills yet. Moreover, he is a real estate agent and suggests Mr. Lawrence to sell his huge mansion along with junk in it and move to retirement home. He can earn a lot of money in this deal, but Mr. Lawrence can't sell something that is passed down in the family for generations. And the things which Daniel is calling junk is actually Mr. Lawrence's whole life. Daniel gets an allergic reaction because a cat is nearby. He leaves for now but asks his uncle to consider his suggestion. Mr. Lawrence gets really hurt by what he said and remembers the times when Daniel was a cute little kid who loved magic tricks. All the toys come out again and gather around their owner to comfort him. Maggie notices the cat and immediately informs Jack. He catches the cat but Mr. Lawrence sees them and takes away the cat. He takes pity on the poor animal and names him Thunder. Mr. Lawrence tells Thunder that the world outside is pretty scary, but he does not have to worry anymore because now, he is a part of this family. He introduces Thunder to the rabbit and the mouse who don't seem happy at this decision. There's also a romantic pigeon pair, Carlo and Carla. The old man immediately gets fond of the cute cat and takes him to bed. After telling him a bunch of stories, Mr. Lawrence finally goes to sleep. Thunder also settles in the bed to sleep but gets interrupted by Jack and Maggie. They are afraid that Thunder is going to take over their place which they earned in years. They tell the cat to leave this house by the next morning or they will make his life miserable. Thunder questions the rude behavior even when the owner has declared him a part of the family. Jack does not care about any of that and repeats that Thunder can only stay for tonight. However, Thunder does not leave and enjoys his breakfast with the old man. When Jack arrives, he loses his temper when he sees Thunder eating from his precious bowl. Jack scolds the cat for crossing all the limits and threatens to teach him a lesson once he gets back. Right now, he and Maggie have some work with Mr. Lawrence. He puts the animals in a trunk and ties it up on his bicycle. Thunder does not want to leave his owner so soon and begs to let him join. Mr. Lawrence falls for Thunder's cuteness and takes him too. He's visiting a hospital where he performs magic tricks for the patients, especially kids. Mr. Lawrence does it for free because all he wants in exchange is the kids' smiles. Usually he performs with Jack, Maggie and the Pigeons, but today he puts in Thunder as well. After the performance, Mr. Lawrence introduces the cat to the kids and all seem to fall in love with him already. The other animals get really jealous and wait for a chance to get rid of Thunder. On their way back home, Jack confesses his desire to knock down Thunder from the bike 
and never let him in the house again. Carlo and Carla advise him to show mercy, but Maggie supports Jack. She also gives him a pencil so he can poke the cat from the holes in the trunk. Thunder gets really scared and jumps on Mr. Lawrence. The poor old man loses his balance and encounters a dangerous accident. Thunder also slips down and falls unconscious. When he wakes up, he meets the same little dog who blames him for the incident. Mr. Lawrence was severely injured and sent to the hospital. Hearing this, Thunder gets really depressed and wants to meet the old man himself. The dog says he is not sure if Mr. Lawrence is still in the hospital, so they decide to check at the house first. When they reach the house, the dog refuses to go inside. He has heard spooky stories of giant rabbits and the evil mouse who use black magic to scare away the visitors. Thunder tries to explain that they are just rumors, but the dog still prefers staying away from this matter. Meanwhile, Jack and the other animals are still locked in the trunk which is brought to the hospital along with Mr. Lawrence. Despite being stuck, Jack and Maggie are really happy because they believe that they have gotten rid of Thunder. Suddenly, someone comes to meet Mr. Lawrence so the animals get quiet. Once again, it's Daniel. He advises Mr. Lawrence to stop roaming around the town alone. He's not young anymore and must take proper rest. Daniel has even chosen an island trip for his uncle and pulls out a brochure. This is all his attempts to convince Mr. Lawrence to sell his house. The poor old man is still not fully awake and does not understand what's happening. Back at home, Thunder gets really worried when he does not find Mr. Lawrence. He tells all the toys what happened and they all start staring at him. Thunder assumes that the toys are blaming him too, but luckily they are really kind and understanding. Thunder gets happy because of the love he's receiving and promises to take care of everyone till Mr. Lawrence returns home. The kids in the hospital go to visit Mr. Lawrence but he's still sleeping. They proceed to check the trunk and the pigeons take this chance to fly away. When the kids hear someone coming, they immediately close the trunk. It's the hospital nurse who comes to check on patients. The kids accidentally tell her about the animals in the trunk, so the nurse decides to send the trunk to Mr. Lawrence's house. Animals aren't allowed in this hospital. The kids beg to let the animals stay, but the nurse does not listen at all. Meanwhile, the pigeons have reached home safely and are glad to see that Thunder didn't get injured in the accident. They inform everyone about the condition of Mr. Lawrence and also about the evil intentions of Daniel. Thunder suggests that they all should stay alert and keep an eye on Daniel to know what he is up to. Carlo and Carla are in charge of guarding the door while the toys help the cat in preparing for emergency situations. Daniel is called in the hospital so he can take the trunk back home. He takes this chance to convince Mr. Lawrence to sign some papers. He wants to get the power of attorney so he can sell the house. Mr. Lawrence is still partially unconscious and signs the papers without even reading. He still requests Daniel to feed his pets and water the plants. Daniel agrees, but he does not actually care about any of that. He reaches the house along with the trunk and tries to drag it inside. While he was doing that, the first client arrived to see the house. They seem to be rich and interested in buying vintage properties like this house. Daniel starts talking about the positive aspects of the house while the toys are hearing everything from the top floor. Thunder is there as well, and he immediately understands that Daniel is selling the house and they all will be kicked out. They must act right away, and luckily Thunder already knows what to do. He sends Carlo and Carla who poop on the visitors continuously and ruin their whole outfits. The clients get so angry that they don't want to see this house ever again. Daniel also leaves because he is having the allergic reaction again. Once the situation gets calm, Thunder rushes to help Jack and Maggie in getting out of the trunk. However, they are not happy to see him at all and start blaming him for the accident. Thunder asks the pigeons to speak in his favor because Jack was the one who poked him. But the pigeons can't go against their old friends. Jack gets more confident and says that Mr. Lawrence is really furious at the cat and wants to kill it. But Thunder refuses to believe it until he hears it himself. Moreover, they need him to save the house because Daniel is allergic to cats. Jack agrees, but he has a different plan. He locks up Thunder in a birdcage and hides away the key. Thunder starts getting depressed again and assumes that Mr. Lawrence is definitely going to kick him out. Suddenly, Edison arrives and reminds the cat of good times. Thunder also remembers about Mr. Lawrence's kindness and hopes that he forgives him. Meanwhile, the pigeons and the toys ask Jack and Maggie to handle everything and protect the house till Mr. Lawrence returns. Daniel has already brought a new customer who is no other than the owner of the dog Thunder befriended. This time the pigeon trick does not work because Daniel came prepared. The lady starts exploring the house while the dog is running here and there because he is really scared of the house. 
He eventually reaches the room where Thunder is kept. Thunder asks him to hang on the cage so it falls down and breaks. In this way, Thunder gets free again. The noise of the falling cage scares the lady, and she slips down the stairs. Daniel tries to catch Thunder but traps the dog instead, which makes the lady even angrier, and she leaves immediately. Jack assumes that Maggie scared off the lady, so he starts complimenting her. Maggie does not tell the truth, but she feels guilty for sure. Meanwhile, Thunder runs away from the house and reaches the hospital. He climbs up to Mr. Lawrence's room and jumps inside. The kids are there too, and they get really happy to see the sweet cat. Mr. Lawrence asks him to get closer, but Thunder is afraid to face him. Mr. Lawrence feels sorry for the cat and assures him that it wasn't his fault. It was just an accident, and the old man is recovering already. Thunder gets really happy to hear that and feels like a burden is lifted off his head. Suddenly, the nurse comes to visit, so Thunder leaves in the hurry. Daniel has brought more customers already. This time, it's a weird couple with a unique taste. They love the vintage style of the house and look forward to buying it. Jack sends Maggie to scare the client, but the brave client picks up Maggie and traps it in the fishbowl. Daniel is also guiding the clients, but he suddenly gets an allergic reaction. Thunder is back in the house. The woman proceeds to explore the kitchen, but does not notice Thunder hiding there to scare her. He turns on the electric mixer all of a sudden and destroys the woman's dress. Afterward, he throws cereal and other random objects on her face. The toys help him in this task, and they succeed in scaring away the customers. If Thunder hadn't arrived in time, they would have lost the house. Jack and Maggie still don't want to credit him and ask why he ran away before. Thunder tells everyone that he went to the hospital, and Mr. Lawrence is not mad at him at all. Hearing this, the toys get back on the cat's side as he is the only one who can save their house. Thunder invites Jack and Maggie to help them, but they prefer to work by themselves. After a while, Daniel sends two workers to collect all the junk in the house so it can be thrown away. Little do they know, Thunder has prepared a whole horror show for them. Firstly, he scares them with a fortune-telling machine and falling objects, and then he locks them in different rooms. Afterward, he dresses up all the toys in scary costumes and uses them to scare the workers. He finishes off the show with the flying dragon and kicks the workers out of the house. Daniel gets really furious after seeing the mess and decides to get rid of the cat so he can work peacefully. After a while, he comes back wearing a protective suit and holding a gun. Thunder can't trigger the allergy anymore, so he runs away to save himself. The toys want to help him, but Daniel locks the door and shoots blindly. The poor cat eventually gets crushed under a trunk and Daniel starts celebrating his success. The toys get really angry and finally come forward without any fear and kick Daniel out of the house. Meanwhile, Mr. Lawrence finally figures out Daniel's plan and asks the kids to help him reach his house in time. Daniel has totally lost his mind and decides to demolish the house. He brings a crane with a huge wrecking ball and attacks the house. Mr. Lawrence arrives in time and asks Daniel to stop, but he has already transferred the house in his name. The toys have given up too after losing Thunder while Jack and Maggie have no idea what to do. Suddenly, the fallen trunk opens up and Thunder steps out. He survived. Everyone gets really happy to see him and follow his lead. The pigeons snatch away the papers from Daniel while the rest of them move towards the safe zone of the house. Thunder decides to step forward to stop the crane so he bravely jumps on the wrecking ball. Maggie also falls on the crane and starts distracting Daniel. Thunder takes this chance and climbs down to the driving seat and wraps around Daniel's head. He gets the worst allergic reaction he ever had in his life and drops the wrecking ball on his precious car. Afterward, he falls down lifelessly on the ground. Once everyone gets down safely, Maggie finally apologizes to Thunder for treating him so badly. Despite her rude behavior, Thunder always helped her and even saved her life. After a few weeks, Mr. Lawrence recovers from his injuries and renovates his house. He also builds a stage in his front yard and gathers all the neighborhood kids to let them witness the power of magic. Jack has also forgiven Thunder and let him take part in the magic show. Finally, they can live peacefully like a big loving family. Everyone deserves love and kindness. It's an invisible power that costs nothing but has the ability to make strangers become a warm family.